Okay. You got the time and you got management approval to refactor some code. Now what do you do? Refactoring legacy code can be like unraveling a knotted piece of rope. It can be hard to figure out where to start. Here are seven strategies for determining what to refactor. Hello world, I'm David Scott Bernstein. Number one, remove dead code. Dead code is code that either is commented out or unreachable. I used to hesitate to delete dead code from my projects until I saw what a distraction some of my dead code was to another developer reading what I wrote. That changed my mind. Removing dead code will not affect execution, but it will make programs easier to read through. Now I unabashedly remove dead code from projects whenever I see it, knowing I can always restore it from version control if I need to. Number two, add seams to add tests. One of the most valuable things to do with legacy code is to add tests to support further refactoring of code. But often legacy code is so intertwined that it's difficult to isolate what's needed to be tested. Michael Feathers shares a series of techniques for adding what he calls seams to making legacy code more testable in his book, Working Effectively with Legacy Code. These techniques make software more independent and more straightforward to test. Number three, make methods more cohesive. Perhaps the two most important and useful refactorings are extract method and extract class. Developers tend to make their methods do too much. Other methods and sometimes even entire classes can be lurking in long methods. Breaking up long methods by extracting new methods from little bits of functionality that you can name is a very good idea. Uncle Bob Martin says that ideally a method should be no longer than four lines of code. While that may sound a bit extreme, it's a good policy to break up code into smaller methods if you can write a method name that describes what the method is doing. Think of that as a form of internal documentation. Number four, make classes more cohesive. Another typical problem with legacy code is that classes try to do too much. This makes them difficult to name. Large classes become coupling points for multiple issues, making them more tightly coupled than they need to be. Hiding classes within classes give classes too many responsibilities and make them hard to change later. Breaking out multiple classes make them easier to work with and improves the understandability of our designs. Number five, centralized decisions. As classes and methods become more cohesive, it's possible for business rules to become spread out across a system, making it difficult to read or modify. Try to centralize the rules for any given process. Extract business rules into factories, if at all possible. When decisions are centralized, it removes redundancy in our code, making it more understandable and more straightforward to maintain. Number six, introduce polymorphism. We want to introduce polymorphism when we have varying behavior that we want to hide. For example, the way we sort a document or compress a file. If I have more than one way of doing a task and I don't want my callers to be concerned with which variation that I'm using, then I may want to introduce polymorphism so that I can allow new variations to be added later without breaking existing clients. Number seven, encapsulate construction. An important part of making polymorphism work is based on clients using derived types through a base class. Clients call sort without knowing which type of sort they're using. Because we want to hide from the client the type of sort that they're using, the client can't do the instantiation of the sort. So we give the sort object the responsibility of instantiating itself by providing a static method that invokes new on itself. Refactoring code is a necessary part of development. It drops the cost of three key things adding new tests, accommodating new features, and doing further refactorings. They say hindsight is 2020, and refactoring code takes advantage of that fact to clean up our designs and make our code more maintainable.
Until next time, happy refactoring and happy coding.